Hey friends, welcome to Talk Shop Tuesday. Uh, I am on a construction site uh, in a skyscraper in the financial district right now, so where better to host this week's episode. Um, today I want to talk about missed opportunities and why it's so important to think outside of the box when uh, looking at real estate or any other businesses really. Uh, I'm going to use one example that I missed last week and uh, the call I got this morning and I'm um, happy to be back. Two weeks ago, I get a phone call about this property. Um, it was actually three properties from one owner. Uh, each one was a two-family in West Babylon, Lindenhurst, Lindenhurst, and he was asking $500,000 each. So, of course, I think that's overpriced. Watch your head. Um, I think that's overpriced, and I offered the guy $400,000 each, especially since I offered him a package deal for all three. Now, uh, he countered me at four twenty-five, and I said he was way overpriced. So. So um, we ended up agreeing, uh, we ended up, we didn't agree. I, I, I stayed at my price at 1.2 for all three and uh, he wanted me to agree with him at um, 1.275. So an extra $75,000, which is a lot of money. Um, although I do have to admit I made a mistake because I didn't think outside of the box. Uh, I did my normal numbers um, on each property. Uh, let's break it down, right? So I, I looked at one property and um, it was $425,000, right? And then you divide that by whatever, like 30% in, uh, I don't know, $130,000 down. So that's how much money you're out of pocket off the gate, $130,000. Um, this property was a two family, no basement, so there's no additional source of the revenue. The garages were converted to rooms, so it's a big two, uh, two family. You're looking at 2750 a unit. So 2750, times two equals 5,500, right? And, uh, and now we're, we go on to your costs. So the costs on this building is um, your mortgage, of course, which if you do a 30-year fixed mortgage at 5%, let's say, uh, and you're putting down 30%, um, I don't know, your costs, your mortgage is like 16, 16 or $1,700 a month. So let's say, 16 or 1700 so let's say seventeen hundred dollars a month um, you know subtract that from the 5500 subtract uh, taxes which were also around sixteen hundred dollars a month they were like I don't know they were north of nineteen thousand dollars they were a lot of money subtract insurance Okay, so my quick math was off by $1,091.52. Um, shows you what a fucking nerd I am. Um, and to think I got an 86 in trigonometry class. You'd be thinking, okay, Alon, um, it's not the best deal in the world, right? You're making $19,000, you're laying out well over $100,000. Um, is it worth it to park your money there? Um, and I, I came to the conclusion that it wasn't, right? But here's where I messed up. I was thinking inside this box, you know, like a square box. I didn't think outside of the box, I thought inside of the box. The deal didn't hit the market yet. Prices are super inflated. I'm looking at so many deals every day that I'm just making decisions left and right, left and right. You know, I'm buying houses, like people buy water bottles. Uh, at least that's my goal. Um, so. Anyway, the house hit the market this morning. I get a call from the same realtor that showed it to me and she's like, listen, dude, uh, literally one hour on the market, we sold the house for like 440. And I'm like, what the fuck? I am so dumb. Like I'm so focused on what I have going on and trying to grow and everything, the business that I have, that I'm not taking a second to think, um, okay, I could have just put it under contract, listed it myself, and uh, potentially sold it for 450. Let it sit on the market for two, three, four weeks until my contract times out and put a small down payment down. Um, and moral of the story is missed opportunities. They suck, but they come every day and they go every day. Think outside of the box uh, because what I have going on in West Hampton, which was bigger, um, I really sat down and thought outside of the box and figured out something really creative, um, which is letting me progress over there. And all going well next week. I will talk about that on Talk Shop Tuesday. Check in with you guys later. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.